The first step in the project is to figure out what shape will your tower take. The towers are going to be three rectangles and you've got to decide if you're going to use small line graph paper or something a little bit larger. After you've decided what type of graph paper to use, you'll end up making your rectangles. You can see that I've started drawing my two rectangles here, eight inches tall and three inches wide. The shape can be determined however tall and however wide you'd like it to be. A lot of it depends on how you're going to destroy your tower at the end. The next thing that you should do is probably make a line of symmetry. Everything above the line should match everything below the line. So if this is an 8 inch tower, we made a line of symmetry that runs straight across the middle. So the top is going to match the bottom. Another thing that I recommend you do is you put dots where you're going to connect the dots. So before you just start drawing lines randomly, make some dots and connect the dots. This happens to be a 4 inch X on the top and a 4 inch X on the bottom. I've continued connecting some of the dots here and you can see I've also started working on the second tower panel right there by connecting more dots. I've added a couple horizontal lines, that means lines running left and right and those horizontal lines are going to be ones that help give the tower a little bit more stability. But all the strength is in our diagonals. This is how your design might look just before you begin construction of your tower panels. You could draw lines of symmetry down each one of the tower panels. You could also draw lines of symmetry across each of the tower panels. So the top is the same as the bottom and the left is the same as the right. Again, we designed these tower panels with 8 inches tall and 3 inches wide. Before we begin the actual construction of our tower panels with all the balsa sticks, we take our design and wrap it with a piece of wax paper. We have foam board which we actually tape the designs to, but after you cover the design with wax paper, then you can start the uh, construction process where you basically lay down a stick. You don't even have to measure. You just take your pen, mark where on the stick you're going to be cutting it. We use timber cutters. You could use a pair of scissors. Basically place it inside the timber cutter and cut it. We continue measuring marking, cutting, and gluing all the perimeter pieces of the tower panels. In this next video, you can actually click to watch how do you cut the interior pieces of a tower panel design.